In the examination, uh, usually, if a short case is given, it is uh, it is given to you sometimes by allotting a particular region. So uh, this is an instance where you may be told to examine the knee of a particular patient. So the instruction is examine the knee or the knee region of this patient. And this is how the short case is initiated. And you are expected to take a very short history as we have been always insisting on. There is no need for an elaborate history. Just ask a few relevant points, ask the main complaint and then dwell on it by asking a few main points. And thereafter, the majority of the 10 minutes, I would say about 95% of the 10 minutes allotted to you for a short case should go into the physical examination part of the examination. So with these words, uh, I would uh, start deliberating on today's case. But before and, that, I can uh, see yes, Amurta, Amurta volunteering to have uh, an interactive session with me. And uh, if anybody else is interested, uh, we can have one or two more candidates uh, interacting with us. And uh, I would, uh, I would uh, sort of try to make it interesting for you. And I'm sure at the end of the session, you would have, uh, you have, you would have learned how such a case is to be examined and what are the possible questions to be asked in the examination. With these words, we uh, go on to the presenting complaints of this particular patient who happened to be a 35 year old man who presented to us with pain in the right upper leg region for the last two years. Well, the pain according to the patient was not very severe. It was some sort of a dull aching pain which was relieved by at times going to a local practitioner who would, a uh, local practitioner means not an allopathic practitioner, but the local or the, or the what you call the, uh, the conventional old type of treatment like some leaves or some ointment was applied onto the local area and the patient said that he used to feel relieved. Thereafter, at some there were some instances where he was advised to take some tablets and we believe these were pain relieving medicines by consuming which also he would become comfortable. Simply pain free, but comfortable. And it is important to note that the duration of this pain had been two years. Well, once you have this sort of a history, I would now like to invite Amurta to tell us what would be, what else he would like to ask the patient before proceeding for starting the clinical examination. Amurta. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, sir, any uh, history of trauma? Very good. Okay, so the first thing is, how did it start? Was there any episode of trauma? Or was there any fever associated with this? So this patient did volunteer that two years ago, he slipped on the wet floor and he fell down. And he somehow was relating the pain to be ever since that episode. So whether it is relevant or not, we do not know, but this is what the history was. What else would you like to know? Uh, sir, any recent complaint of instability of the knee while walking or running or climbing stairs? All right, what else? Uh, so what, sir, you are, what you are suggesting is 
was there any functional disability or any functional component which was affected by this pain of because he had a fall yes sir okay well taken what else yes. uh sir any history of any weight loss any loss of appetite very good very good because uh, if it is a two year duration uh, we need, need to know whether it was associated with any constitutional symptoms as they are uh, known what else uh, sir any uh, other joint involvement okay whether any other joint is involved or there is any other associated problem which he has noted in the last two years yes sir what else uh say any deform uh, any gross deformity that we will come mm. to know the moment we see the patient or when yes. when we expose the affected area so that would be part of the examination so i yes, think sir. more or less uh, you have done well so the this patient fell down two years ago and uh, there was no direct injury to the knee uh, uh, i had closely questioned him he to one of the residents he did say that there was a direct injury but when i talked to him he said there was no direct injury to the knee uh, there was no functional loss so your question that was there any instability he said that i am walking i am running i am doing all sorts of my daily activity uh, and there was no functional loss so there was no instability uh, which could accrue out of uh, the episode of falling down which was 2 years ago yes. uh, the thing which you did not mention was how this pain has evolved whether there is any uh, uh, whether it has it has been increasing over a period of time or it has been decreasing is there a waxing and waning phenomenon so the answer to this the patient said that it is more or less of the same intensity and it is constantly there all the time unless he takes some medicine or he takes some uh, he applies some ointment or something when they, there is some relief yes sir and loss of appetite loss of weight you have already mentioned so these are the important if you take this much of history it is more than enough and now you have to move on to exposing the affected area and we start with the examination so this is the visual or this is the picture of this patient the affected side is the right side and uh hamusa can you start dwelling on what do you find when you look at the affected part in comparison to the normal side we have always been insisting as far as the limbs are concerned try to compare with the normal side yes sir so there is a gross swelling of the right knee when we are compar comparing it with the left one very good uh, sir there is uh, color is almost normal sir in both the knee it is comparable color color sir color uh, pallor actually we do not comment on looking at the knee pallor is no pallor sir is color sir not reddish not color color okay color yes oh, sir color okay so you say uh, that it's more or less normal comparable yes, with the other side okay that's it uh, sir uh, there is a kind of wasting in the right thigh when compared with the left one very good and there is sir no gross deformity uh, seen uh, okay. on the affected knee all right uh, uh, sir uh, <clears throat> in the uh, right knee uh, the so region can you can you can you, can you sort of uh, tell us uh, which is the main area which is swollen 
uh, sir mainly in the infrapatellar region uh, very in the good, medial and lateral good. region the uh, dimpling or the depression is absent on the right side as compared to the left one excellent excellent amurta you have hit the nail right on the head so if you look at the right of the, the left side which is supposed to be the normal side we have the the fossa which are there on either side of the ligamentum patelli where it is inserted into tibial tubercle you can see them beautifully whereas on the affected side these fossae are obliterated or they have been filled up by some material so here the ligamentum patelli seems to be quite well defined here it is obliterated the 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 it cannot be differentiated with the surrounding tissue so this is a very important indicator that this there is a swelling in this particular area proximal tibia anterior aspect extending on to the medial as well as the lateral side so i think you have done pretty well the overlying uh, skin you have said it's normal in color uh so we move on further and these are the